Hi, uh, short video here in the basics series. Just going to take a look at the uh, tool palette. So I like to connect them together here. Right now I'm on a laptop. So uh, usually I have a wider screen than this. And uh, these kind of are outside of the screen. So they're so I still have all this area to work with. So I don't know. It depends what screen you're working with. But this is always the way I had them anyway. So your tool palette's here and you can go through it. You have your modify here, which is all your move commands. I don't use a lot of these down here. You'll use explode down here. Uh, you know, a lot of these things you'll, you'll just type in or you'll use more advanced copies. You know, this is a copy, but if you come to the second one, the tools does an advanced copy here, which you will use a lot. Uh, you can make sure sometimes you'll want to click this box to include additional connections. But um, I guess maybe later I'll go through all or most of these. But, you know, this one here basically does a copy similar to this advanced copy here. So this one will do it without opening that box. And that tick box I just showed you will also control that. So... Basically, you have a list here. So you have your custom connections, which are quite useful. Generally, I don't use too many of these either. I generally, I'll just create the plates and bolts myself. These two top icons are the important ones. This one here is to create the connection, and then this one is to use the connection or insert the connection. We can go through that later also, and I will make a note of that. UCS, this one is useful. I'll use almost every icon here. Uh, these ones here are for placing the UCS. This one here is common for a 3D view. So if I click on this, you can see it's the direction I'm looking in. Now, if I go back like this, I can go down to this eyeball one here and it'll go back to the way I was looking in. So you just have to start using these yourself. This one, you'll have to pick three points for the UCS. So you could pick here. And we can get this to snap over here. So it's not actually snapping because the UCS is in the world. But you can put it whatever. You pick three points. So I can pick this point here, this point here, and this point here. And it'll place the UCS there. So it does the X, Y, and then the Z axis last. So go back to world. These ones are brilliant. These ones you'll want to rotate. Um, well, actually, these ones are the better ones. These ones will rotate your UCS. So rotate around X. You can see my Z is moving. And these ones down here are great. I love these. It restricts your movement. So if you're copying something, if I want to move this. Now, you can do it this way and rely on your snap. Or you can pick in the z-axis and then it will only allow that to move in the z-axis and then we can go six feet and we know if we want to go back and check this um i have my measures turned off so obviously i've started a new advanced steel here so up here i like to have uh my quick so I'll put match properties up there and there's a couple other ones I'll want to put up there later. For now, we'll just continue looking at this. So also what you can do here is so really you just want to play around with these. These are your selection. So you'll use this one quite often, which is to select members that are going to be attached in the shop. Um, this one here is going to be used quite often. This one here is going to be used to deselect items. This one here to select connection mem like it'll show you where the welds and the bolts are that are connecting everything. They're kind of the common ones there. Here, uh, these ones I use sometimes too, but generally I set up filters inside in the Project Explorer. In here, I'll set up some queries and filters. And I don't really use these too much. But basically, you know, if you pick this one, it'll pick all the beams in the model. Now, obviously, I don't have a model there, so there's nothing to pick. This one is useful. It'll, can, it'll pick the joint boxes. 
So this one here picks all, picks all advanced steel objects. So if you want to explode your model, don't explode everything because you may have some solids. You're going to want to use this one to select your elements and then you'll go back up here or you can just type X for explode and use this one to explode. So most of these you're not really going to use. Uh, most of them I don't use anyway. These ones here are useful. You can do quick views. Uh, I should really use these more often. Uh, generally, I come up here and do it this way. Create a model view. Um, so these ones are useful too. You can turn on and off. You can turn on, select elements and then collect, s select this and it'll just show you the elements you selected. If you select this one, it'll show you it'll show you everything except the elements you selected um and then we'll come down here and these are all the features so if you click on this you can see these are for the plates so you can see please identify the plate to be modified these ones at the top are beams and these ones i believe are universal but generally i use them for beams the ones in the middle very useful you're going to need these for a lot of different things now if you want to create your own custom connections or custom commands we'll do that later but just so you know how to if you if you come over here and right click and hold it down you can see that this has become active to edit so what i can do is i can then open a category and i can name that category so i'll just name it a dm and picture wise i guess i don't really want a picture but you know what we'll do i'll just put in you know what i will i'll put in a picture so now the picture you put in here you really need to store the picture so let's just do it the one time i'll use this logo just because it's the handiest for now so let me copy this and I'm going to come up here, uh, let's see, we're going to want to go to our C drive and program data, advanced steel, Autodesk, advanced steel, USA, and shared support and toolbars, oh I was looking for toolbars, sorry. So steel support toolbars and I'll copy it in here. You can see I have other ones, you know, I can actually use that one. So there's an active and an inactive one. Again, we'll do that one later, but what I'll do is I'll just pick one of these for now. Uh, I believe the PNG I have to use. And there you can see my icon is there. So now, later on, if I click up on the top, now we're back to normal. If I click here, we can see I don't have any icons in here. So this is how you can edit this tool palette. And now let's go back over here and right click. And we can move this around also if you want. But let's click on one of these. And now you want to click on one of these here. Because we don't have one in here, we can't create a new one in here. We have to create a new one in this other tool palette. So we're going to come up here, create a new command, and we'll just call it anything. It doesn't matter. It's only to activate that last palette. So I'll just call it save. I don't have it set up to do right now. And we can just put any icon, which we can change later. Okay. And command, I'll just put in save. Now that command is not going to do anything. And then we can just copy that over in there. And click on the top. And you can see it's not actually active because this is actually the one I wanted. Sorry. So let's pull this over here. And I actually pulled over the bar from inside in that one. I guess it was in there somewhere. You know what? We don't need it. So 
to click on the top so now there's a command in there so now we've activated another portion of this where we can add commands this command later i can fix it up uh, we just need to go into the notepad and i guess i'll show you quickly where that is um, it's going to be in the same area so if we go to c drive program data uh, sorry i gotta put a, a shortcut to this let's put the quick access so it's over here the other one is there and uh, usa now the mistake i just made is i actually copied the icon from the 2021 mistakenly so what i'll do after this video is i'll copy those icons over into that folder so what i'll do is i'll come in here go back to the usa folder steel support toolbars and we can see here whatever these are the ones that i use right so we can select these we can have a look down see if we have any other images here see we have this is for toolbar but for now i don't need them so i'm just going to copy these ones so let's copy we'll go back here usa steel support toolbars and i'll also want to switch the location of that image because what will happen is if i delete that 2021 folder once i migrate fully this icon is going to disappear then because if I come in, come back into that folder and uh, advanced steel palette. Edit this in notepad. If you go through here, uh, we can see our palettes here and we can see uh, false so this is a move command and the palette name is here categories so that's the modify categories palette items so if we scroll down here uh, copy there's the copy command false so we're just looking for that one now there's a better way of looking for it than this um, let me just transform connections i'm just trying to find the start of a group so let's scroll down cameras create cameras define fancy of special parts so trim extend so i'm just trying to find the category so here look the category advanced tools last custom connections so there's custom connections so i just needed to find the palette category i was clicking on the wrong one above but we'll just keep going so close down the ucs one and now we have the selection one and then we have the selection filters we have the quick views we have the features and then we have the one i just created and now we can see that my image is the same for active and in and inactive so i also want to change this location it's going to be advanced steel 2022 so now when i delete the other folder it'll be okay and then this one i want to change to the name of inactive so we'll go and do that so just kind of wanted to show you how so this one here i'm going to rename that and i'm going to copy that 
It's basically just this one with it inactive. And then paste. So I know this video is a little longer than I intended, but it kind of shows you how to get into the back of the palette and change your images without getting too far into it. So now sticker PNG and medium sticker inactive. That should be good. And then I will also want to change this one to a two. And then we should be good. So we should be able to go save and minimize that. See, nothing will happen. Now, sometimes if I close this and open this again, sorry, open this again. So I want to go to my advanced tool palette. No, so you're going to have to shut it down. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to save to that. And then we're going to go back in and open advanced steel. And after we open it, it should be fine. Now, just don't forget to close the palette before you shut down. And now we'll see what options it gives us here. Uh, actually, I don't like this. I prefer this changed over to here. So let's give it a second. And here's the template that we had open. And we want to open a template. So we'll open the template. And then we'll go back to the top and we'll activate the advanced steel tool palette and hopefully all going well all going well you can see that's inactive it's black and white and now when you click there it turns the color so in that same place now this is my command which i haven't made any command from this it just i just wrote in save so you can see here uh, actually the command is not even showing up i don't think the command is not even there so if you can see up here if we go back up you can see here is a command here building generator that's not a good one because i don't really use that but let's say this one rotate number rotate member to ucs this is the command for that so the description and the command so if i come down here back down here there's no description, no command, because I didn't do the command properly. But I was able to activate that toolbar, and it's ready now to create a new command. If I just right-click here, now I can create new commands that are proper from the custom commands I have. So I hope this helps. A uh, little long-winded, but it gives you an idea how to use this, and how to move it around, and how to create new uh, how to create new icons for new commands and how to control them in the notepad plus plus has been modified by another program do you want to reload yes that's just because i was playing around with advanced steel so we we'll close that down our icons now are in the right place just beware i'll mention it now and later in the custom commands that you want to store the icons in the folder the us folder this one here in 2020 if you're in us if you're somewhere else you want to save it in your other folder save them in there so when you migrate this to another version it's going to be there if you save it on somewhere on your c drive it's just going to be gone if you switch i i, I will update um stuff on my computer at work and then when i get home i'll migrate it over to my laptop so both versions are the same because i make changes almost every day all right so that video was a little longer than expected but uh hopefully it helps all right next video is going to be on the connection vault so hope that helps all right bye bye